<laughs> Harold, this Harold, is John. Harold. This is John. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Ready? No. Okay, here's the sunset. Just got back up in the boat. There's number 17 blinking. Our anchor's tight, like we showed we were going to do. I don't know if I even got pictures of it. We found our water line again. It's nice and clean. Got a little scum up there yet. Yeah, it's got to be scrubbed, but I'm scrubbing the scum line off. Getting ready to go sail. Want the bottom smooth. So here we are, waiting for our anchor to pop up. And we had some local come out here and visit us and take more pictures of our boat. He, he likes our boat. He's a local, I guess his family's been on that point since 1790 or something. So, anyways, some are friendly, some are not. We like the friendly people. Anyways, we'll have a quick peek, real quick, because it's getting you almost dark. Popped. Getting it's almost so dark. I boinked on the boat. My big boinking bottom. But anyways, nope, she didn't boink. We have these straps, as you've seen before. And we use the tractor winch here to pull up the rope initially. And then Kimi does a cinch. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I guess I do got a light. And we got this huge strap and a 6,000 pound winch tighter than a rubber band to the mast. And then the, the rope runs up here where we had it. And we pull it up and we couple onto it. And Kimi does what she calls a tractor rope. Special kind of knot that bites onto itself and then it kinks the rope so that it can't slip. Otherwise this is a slip right up the rope. So oh yeah this is like listen to it. Yeah this thing has thousands of pounds of pressure and there it is down there. It's going straight in the water. Straight in the water. So our nose is down so much our water line is about six inches almost just below where she normally sits. Almost eight inches actually. So that's a lot considering. But I'll turn off the light here and let you enjoy the evening sunset. Glass calm. Typical out here. My sister is sitting over here and our friend John has written us and sent us messages today. He's looking out for us. So I'm gonna go catch up on what's been going on. And uh we're going to relocate and prepare to pitch sails in this next day here when the wind and the time is right. But the stubborn anchor that's been stuck for weeks, maybe a month now, here has caused us a lot of grief. But this is a method that's required to do it when it becomes stubborn. It'll probably have 400 pounds of mud on it when it comes up. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Wouldn't want to be ya. Yeah. <laughs> uh.